Let's talk about a time when oxygen nearly killed everything. See, oxygen feels essential to us, and it is, we need it for breathing. But for most of Earth's history, it was a toxic gas. And when oxygen first flooded the planet around 2.4 billion years ago, it triggered one of the largest biological extinctions Earth has ever seen. It's known as the Great Oxidation Event, but also the Great Oxygen Catastrophe. Here's how it happened. Early Earth had almost no free oxygen in its atmosphere. Life was microbial, single-celled, and anaerobic, meaning it relied on chemical pathways like fermentation and cell metabolism metabolism that break in the presence of oxygen. Then a group of microbes called cyanobacteria evolved oxygenic photosynthesis. They use sunlight to split molecules of water producing sugars for energy and releasing oxygen as a waste product. At first, the oxygen didn't build up in the air, it reacted with dissolved iron, and that basically formed iron oxides that sank to the sea floor. That's why we find these massive banded iron formations today, which are really good for mining, and they're proof that, at least geologically speaking, oxygen was being produced long before it appeared in the atmosphere. But eventually the iron ran out, and oxygen began accumulating in the oceans and then the sky. Now for anaerobic organisms, this was catastrophic. Oxygen creates reactive oxygen species, highly unstable molecules that damage proteins, membranes, and DNA. Cells that evolved without oxygen defenses, well, they simply couldn't cope. So over millions of years, huge portions of Earth's biosphere collapsed. Many anaerobic species went extinct. Others retreated into oxygen-free zones that exist today, such as deep sediments, wetlands, and hydrothermal systems. This was Earth's first known global biological turnover. But and this is the key part, some organisms adapted. Instead of avoiding oxygen, they evolved enzymes to control it and eventually learned to use oxygen as a terminal electron acceptor. That's aerobic respiration. And chemically, it was a game changer. Aerobic metabolism extracts over 15 times more energy per glucose molecule than anaerobic pathways. More energy meant larger cells, more complex internal structures, and eventually mitochondria-powered eukaryotic life. There was also another major consequence too. As oxygen accumulated, it formed the ozone layer, which blocked out harmful ultraviolet radiation. For the first time, life wasn't confined to deep water, Earth's surface became survivable. So yes, Oxygen caused a mass extinction, but it also laid the foundation for animals, plants, complex ecosystems, and every oxygen-breathing organism alive today, including you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.